Back in December of last year, Google launched its Android 15 QPR1 update, and with it, they brought a new feature to the community called Identity Check. The idea behind this is that it will require the user's biometrics, aka a successful fingerprint or thumbprint scan, before the software will allow any changes to critical security settings. This added protection also prevents them from accessing your saved passwords and other sensitive data that you have stored on your smartphone. But since most OEMs do not release the Android 15 QPR1 update to their devices, most people will notice this feature appear on their phone after it has been updated to Android 16. But with that said, all Google Pixel and Samsung Galaxy devices that are running Android 15 will have access to this identity check feature. The goal of this identity check feature comes into play if someone steals your phone and they already know your PIN, pattern, or password. If this feature is enabled, it will kick in if the device is able to detect that it is no longer within your trusted locations. So once the device has been detected to be outside of one of those trusted locations, they will not be able to unlock it using those methods. Instead, they will only be able to unlock the phone using your registered fingerprint or thumbprint. So naturally, you will have to have biometrics set up as a lock screen method and you will have to configure Android to understand what your trusted places are. But this is a nice way of adding an additional layer of protection to your smartphone and your personal data. So for a quick recap, even if you have the latest stable version of Android installed on your phone, which as of right now is Android 15, then you may not have access to the identity check feature right now. This was only added to Android 15 with the first quarterly platform release, and not all OEMs are going to base their big version update on that specific update. In fact, some are speculating that this is only going to be Samsung who ends up offering this identity check feature with their release of Android 15. And this was possible because the company went out of their way to manually add it in to One UI 7. And so far, there have not been any other device makers who have announced they are also working on this feature for their release. We could technically see any OEM add it though. It's just that we do not have any official news about another company doing so. However, you can look to see if you have access to Identity Check by first launching the settings application and then performing a search for the word identity. If your phone does not have this feature at this time, then you will not see any results appear from performing this search. However, my Pixel 7 Pro has this feature since it was sent that special Android 15 update from Google. Here, you'll get a quick rundown of what this feature is and how it works, and you will just want to follow through with this onboarding process to enable it on your phone. For this to work though, you will need to be signed into your Google account. You will also need to have the screen lock feature enabled. You will then need to have at least one fingerprint added so that it can be used to unlock your phone and you will need to add a trusted place to your device if you haven't done so already. And the last requirement here is that you will need to have phone number verification enabled on Android. All of these requirements will be easy to follow and complete during that onboarding process. So follow that guide and you'll eventually see a screen like this where you can quickly enable or disable the feature if you so choose, and you can manage your trusted places as well.
directly from here. Identity check was an interesting new feature to arrive on Android smartphones last year, and it's something that many people have ignored since it was only available on Pixel hardware until now. Sadly, it will still take quite a while before even new Android smartphones end up shipping with it. I did find it odd that Google has yet to find a way to surface this feature to you, as this is something that could save people a lot of grief, but they need to have it set up ahead of time. And since this feature is not enabled by default, nor are there any notifications or alerts that will bring it to your attention, most people are unlikely to know that it even exists at all. So please, be sure to share this video with your friends and family members. That way they can set up Identity Check as soon as they're able to. And do not forget to give this video a like as well. And subscribe to the channel for more Android content like this.